you don't do anything different. First thing you always want to do is vertical asymptotes. And I, just because I think vertical asymptotes are the easiest. Factor, and then make sure you don't have any holes, and then just set the denominator equal to 0. However, is there anything that we can multiply to give us negative 7 that's going to add to give us negative 3? No, so that's not factorable. So I know, obviously, that's not going to divide out. So my vertical asymptote is just x plus 3 equals 0. So x equals negative 3. Done. Horizontal asymptote. Again, you're comparing the degrees. Actually, I like being green with these. So guys, we already did this. We did um, when the degree in the, is greater than the degree in the numerator, then y equals 0. When the degree is equal to the numerator, y equals um, a over b, which is leading coefficient over leading coefficient. Now we have an example of the degree in the denominator is less than the degree in the numerator. So there is not a horizontal asymptote in this case. But you guys need to make sure you can distinguish all of these. Okay, Know when they occur and know how to find them. But now, since we do not have a horizontal asymptote, we now have a slant asymptote. So how are we going to define the slant asymptote? Well, all we simply do, and the reason, the reason why slant asymptotes come, I think they're actually the easiest to remember, is because x plus 3 divides into that. right? This is a smaller degree than that. So what we can do is do long division. In this example, you actually could do synthetic division, actually, too, right? But the majority of the problems, you a lot of times you have to use long division. So we're just going to practice long division. So again, let's go through long division step by step again. How many times does x divide into x squared? x times. x times, because x times x gives you x squared. x times 3 gives you 3x. Then we subtract the rows. x squared minus x squared is 0. Negative 3x minus 3x. So if you owe me $3 and you borrow three more dollars, you now owe me $6. So negative 6x. Now, how many times does x divide into negative 6x? Negative 6 times. Negative 6 times x is a negative 6x. Actually, it's going to be green. Negative 6 times 3 is a negative 18. Bring down the negative 7. Subtract your rows. That becomes a plus, so that's a 11. And that's your remainder. However, yes? How many times does x go into negative 6x? Negative 6 times. Then remember, you take that negative 6. Why did you bring down negative 6? I didn't. I did negative 3x minus 3x oh, is negative 6x. Right. right. Um, now, it's really important for you guys to understand. Diana, close that. Really, really important for you guys to understand. Once you apply long division, your slant asymptote is your quotient not dealing with your remainder. I don't want to mathematically get into it, um, but this goes to 0. Okay, So your slant asymptote is going to be y equals what the quotient is, which in this case is x minus 6. Okay, 